Hello everybody, my name is Scarlett Keegan and welcome back to my channel. I am a transitioning MTF. I love the open road, I love traveling, and this nomadic life is pretty much calling to me. So, I got my truck, I got my trailer, I hitched it up, and I'm traveling the country. And I'm bringing you along for the ride. So I want to get into my travels a little bit and the places I have been. I left Louisiana at the end of January. I actually stayed at an RV campground in Briarcliff outside of Austin in the Hill Country. The RV park was called Texas Hill Country RV Campground. I absolutely adore the Texas Hill Country. The guy that runs the RV park, he actually told me, he's like, he's like, you know what, this is Willie Nelson's neighborhood. He lives right down the road here. Some of those houses on the hills are just gorgeous. I could see why Willie would pick that place to live. And I was like, oh my gosh, Willie Nelson. He's like, yeah, sometimes, sometimes people see him down there at the gas station getting coffee in the morning. I was like, wow. That would be something to run into Willie. From there, my first stop was at Sedona. Sedona, Arizona. It's one of my favorite places in the world. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's just breathtaking. The scenery, the landscaping, the hiking, the temperature, Oak Creek Canyon, Soldier's Pass, Seven Sacred Pools, Bell Rock, the shopping, the arts and crafts. I love me some Sedona. I actually stopped at another RV park while I was there just down the road in Camp Verde. What I saw, that place was the number six largest RV park in the country. And it, it was huge. There was so many trailers there, so many people. And once again, I got to hook up, you know, to power into water. And that was the last RV park that I stayed at. That was... The week of Valentine's Day, I think I got there on February the 13th, so that was the last RV park. From then on out, it's been all nomadic. I had a friend who was in Quartzsite, Quartzsite, Arizona. I came down to Quartzsite, and that was my first experience of like off-the-grid nomadic living. I stayed up there off of Formosa Road, which is just north of town, and there's so many spots available, so many good spots. It's pretty much flat for the most part. It's dirt roads, but I mean, there was just trailers as far as you could see, not all huddled together. Everyone, you, there's so much land. You have all this space to just find a good little spot that you like, but it was, it was very impressive for the first time, you know, being out just getting out there north of town and seeing all those people, all those people that are that are living this nomadic lifestyle, it was it was pretty cool. There are also a few places that you can go just north of Quartzsite, which I stopped by. There's Parker that's about 30 or 45 minutes north of Quartzsite, and then about I'm gonna say about an hour and 15 minutes north, there's Lake Havasu. I was darn sure to stop by there. So I went out there and I, I got some coffee and you know I, I stopped by the lake and just I just wanted to see what that was all about. I wanted to check it out while I was so close. I met some really good people that I'm very fond of and I'm actually still traveling with them one month later. So that's that's been amazing meeting these people to bond with and travel with. If you are in Quartzsite, if you're planning on going through Quartzsite, if you're new to Quartzsite, if, even if you've been there and don't know about this, I have to throw this in. The showers at the Arco are amazing. They have what like granite or, or marble, I don't know what they are, but like these really nice walls. They have a sink, they have a toilet, and they have this really nice shower. It's got a bench you can sit down. They've got two shower heads. It was just, it was really nice. There was uh, $7 for the shower and no time limit, which was kind of big for me. I've heard about other places in town that there's a time limit and are more expensive than this place. 
it seemed like it was just, just like a really nice bathroom for seven bucks and no time limit. I was all over that. So after we left Quartzsite, we went, I'm going to say about two and a half hours northwest to 29 Palms, California. 29 Palms, I don't feel like I really got to experience a good bit of it. It was really windy when we were there. It was windy and it was chilly. We did go out a few times. We went, we went to a flea market one time and we went out to dinner one time. But other than that, we really only stayed there for a couple days. And from there, we headed south down to Joshua Tree. Now, Joshua Tree, um, we stayed at the south entrance. Um, they Once again, they have a bunch of land right there, dispersed camping, and there's a lot of good spots. We stayed there for, for a good few days. There was uh, people just coming and going. It seemed like it was a pretty good little hot spot for, for uh, nomads, and that was pretty cool. We went into the park, we went into the national forest, and just those Joshua trees are pretty cool. And the landscape is, is awesome. It's, they have all those, those huge rocks that are just like been shaped and formed over the years. It's a very unique and cool landscape. If you're in that area, I, I recommend stopping by and checking it out. And from there, we came down to Copa National Wildlife Refuge. It looks like there's a few different entrances into the wildlife refuge. Uh, we are staying off of Kings Road. There's plenty of space, a lot of good spots right up next to the mountains. The cactus are everywhere. The landscape is cool. And Yuma is, I want to say, about 45 minutes south. So. We went to Yuma, you know, check that out. Got a little bit of shopping done at the grocery store. And once again, it's just beautiful. Uh, waking up and just drinking coffee, you know, with, in, all these, in all these beautiful places with, with that basically as your front yard or backyard. It's, uh, it's really amazing. I am pretty much loving this nomadic lifestyle right now. Uh, just the, the freedom. The freedom that that you have you're just going wherever you want whenever you want there's so many places that are set up for these nomadic travelers the people that I'm meeting the experiences I was thinking about it I was like oh my gosh I have only been doing this for a little over a month like five weeks and that was kind of shocking I've packed I've packed so many experiences into such a short amount of time it's like I feel like I'm living. I really feel like I'm just a living and, and alive. It, it's a, it's an amazing feeling. And of course, campfires are a pretty big thing. That's a, a favorite of mine. I love, I love when we, when we do us some campfires, everyone gathers around. We might have a, a, a beer or two, you know, bust out the guitar and play the guitar a little bit, just sit around and just have a good old time, crack jokes. The, the campfires are just really, really a, a nice bonding moment. Um, those are those are one of my fondest things about this experience is those campfires with these with these awesome people. So that is about it for my travels the last five weeks, five or six weeks. I think I've got to see a few cool little places there, and I've got a busy agenda coming up. I will be headed back to uh, Austin in a few weeks. I've got a doctor's appointment that I've got to go to. And while I'm out there, there is a rally that I really think I'm going to attend. I'm pretty excited about that one. And from there, I will start working on my next video. I Right now, I'm thinking I'm going to cut across. I'm going to go back through Texas and cut up. To Colorado and go over maybe to the Redwood Forest that's definitely a place I would like to see I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes anyways that's about it for this video thanks for stopping by we'll see you next time bye bye